Hi everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome to Vox Yoga. Thank you for joining me for this practice. I thought as I've got this temporary space for a little bit, I would record a few practices that maybe align with the mood <laughs> of the backdrop. So this practice is yoga to boost your mood and hopefully it will just be a really nice flowing practice where we can make space in the whole body, really connect to the breath and then hopefully feel a little bit more uplifted by the end of it. So it's suitable for all levels. We're gonna start standing and you just need a mat, a place that you feel supported in. So wherever you are, just come to standing. Just settle into the space, have a little bit of a fidget, and then come to your breath. So maybe you find just a soft focus point in front of you. And just start to breathe in and out through the nose, if that's available to you. Just notice how you're feeling right now. Notice if your mind is maybe a little bit more scattered or cluttered, or if you're feeling a bit more lethargic, tired. And then just choose one word of how you want to feel at the end of this practice. Keep focusing on the breath, the inhale and the exhale as we move through. And we'll just interlace the hands behind the back. So just quite gently here, you're not yanking to feel a stretch, you're just gently drawing the palms down and away from the body a little bit. You can then drop the chin to the chest. Just gently move the chin from side to side. So you're making rolls with the neck. Notice your lower body. Keep the feet strong through the floor. Just keep a really soft bend in the knees. Great, bring the head back to center and then release the arms. Just roll the shoulders gently. Great, then bring the arms up overhead. Take opposite elbows here. Just really try and draw the shoulders down, away from the ears. This is a little bit much. You can just bring the fingertips onto the shoulders. So we'll breathe in at the top. And then on an exhale, just slightly rounding the back, draw circles round to the left. Come forward and then inhale on the way back up. Exhale to go again. Now maybe your circle becomes a little bit bigger this time. Breathe in to lift. And exhale. So we're keeping drawing circles and this can be as big or as small as you like. Follow your breath pattern. You can come all the way down into a forward fold if it feels good, or you can really keep the movement just in the upper spine. Wherever you are, strong through the feet, follow your breath. Two more in this direction. After your next inhale, on the exhale, just drop the arms. Again, just roll the shoulders really subtly before we go on the other side. Great, sweeping the arms up and over. You might want to uh, change the cross of the elbows this time. Inhale at the top, and then we'll draw circles round to the right. Again, start small. Feel like you're working out all the kinks, any kinks in the spine. And then you can increase the size if you like. I 
heard this called sunflower before, which I think is really nice. <laughs> Follow your breath. Two more in this direction. Again, after this last inhale, on your exhale, stretch the arms out. Again, just gentle roll the shoulders or just shake the arms out, have a bounce in the knees, just to settle back into the space, back into your breath. Great, then we'll all come to the top of the mat. Following our breath, one breath per movement, we'll work through some standing vinyasas. On your inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, looking up. Exhale, bend the elbows 90 degrees into cactus arms, opening the chest. Inhale, reach the arms up once more. Exhale, folding forward from the hips, let the head hang heavy, release the arms, forward fold. Inhale, slide the hands up the shins, length through the spine, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reaching the arms up overhead, come to stand. Exhale, hands in prayer at the heart. And we'll go again. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus arms really make space across the chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back, long through the neck. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands in prayer at the heart. One more time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands in prayer at the heart. Flow again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, and this time we'll stay there. Just breathe. Shake the head really gently from side to side. Maybe you sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> Plant the palms. We'll come to kneeling, tabletop. Bring one leg back at a time. Just adjust yourself so the hips are over the knees, shoulders over the wrists, strong through the fingertips. Cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, look forward. Exhale, pelvis tucks, spine rounds, look to the knees. Inhale, drop the belly, arch the back, lift the chest, look forward. Exhale, pelvis tucks, spine rounds, look to the knees. Follow your breath. Inhale to arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Two more.
After your last one, come to your neutral spine. And then we'll tuck the toes. Lift the seat to the sky. Lift the knees and we'll come to downward facing dog. Have any movement here that feels good. Maybe you lift one heel, drop the other to feel a stretch through the hamstring. Maybe you pedal the feet subtly, all really working through the soles of the feet. You can shake the head or you can find stillness. This is our one down dog of the practice, so make it work for you. And if at any time you want to drop the knees, come to tabletop as an alternative, then you can. Come back to your breath. Channel that word that you set at the start of the practice. And then we'll drop the knees. Untuck the toes. We'll step the right foot forward in between the hands. Low lunge. So here, lift the torso. Just bring the hands onto the top of the thigh to start with. Really just looking forward and just really subtly, just have a tiny, tiny bit of movement to release this hip. We hold a lot of tension in the hips. So releasing them can feel amazing. <laughs> Great, then finding, I suppose, movement within now, but stillness in the posture. On an inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, drop the arms, interlace behind the back, subtly drawing the palms away from you and breathe here. Great, release the arms, fingertips frame the front foot, tuck the back toes. You can just have a few breaths here to again feel this stretch down the back of the left leg. And coming to warrior two, we'll flatten the left foot, uh, toes point to the long edge of your mat, strong through the feet, we'll lift the torso, open the arms out into our warrior two. Just adjust if you need to, try and get the heel of the right foot in line with the arch of the back foot. Right knee over the right ankle. Try and drop the shoulders. Just take a few moments feeling strength, power, gazing over the right fingertips. will flow. On an inhale, reach the arms up, straightening the right leg. Exhale, bending the right knee, bringing the palms back down into our warrior two. Keep this movement going, flowing with your breath. You've kind of got a few options. You can keep it strong, have movement like you're pushing down a force direction with the palms here. Or you can keep it really soft and fluid with the arms having a sense of softness as you move. So whichever option feels best for you, take it. Last one. We'll meet back in warrior two. Then release the arms, straighten the right leg. 
toes point to the long edge of the mat, goddess pose. So heels pointing in a little bit. This will be different for everyone, but we're gonna bend the knees into this low squat. So your toes will be pointing out, kind of feet around about 90, uh, 45 degree angle. Have a little bit of movement here. Find some softness as you swing from side to side. Swing, sway, I think that's a better word. Then again, depending on how your mood is right now and what you want to get out of the practice, you can continue with this softness or you can bring hands to prayer at the heart, trying to sink a little bit more into this posture, strong through the feet and find some stillness and strength. So again, take the variation that works for you. Wherever you are, focus on the breath. And when you're ready, straightening the legs, we'll go on the other side. So we'll pivot round, hands are going to frame the left foot and we'll come to the low lunge. So drop the right knee, untuck the toes. Again, tiny bit of movement, like really subtle just to kind of open the right hip flexor a little bit. Probably feel a bit more free on this side because we've just done our goddess and warrior as well. And then when you're ready, lift the torso. Settle into this low lunge posture, left knee over the left ankle. Adjust if you need to. It's not about flexibility, it's about your alignment in the posture. When you're ready, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, release the arms, interlace behind the back really gently drawing the palms down and away from the body. Breathe here. Release the hands, fingertips frame the left foot. Tuck the right toes. Take a moment to feel that stretch down the back of the right side of the leg. And then we'll flatten the right foot, toes point to the long edge of the mat. Warrior two, press through the feet, lift the torso, open the arms up, and release, settle into the posture. Just if you need to a little bit. So left heel in line with the arch of the right foot, the back foot. Few breaths in warrior two, gazing over the left fingertips. And when you're ready, you can flow with the breath. Inhale to straighten the left leg, reach the arms up. Exhale, back into your warrior two strength or softness but whichever option you choose you're flowing with purpose with the breath One more. We'll all meet back in Warrior Two. Release the arms, straighten the left leg. Toes point towards the long edge of the mat. Just heel toe the feet in, just a couple of 
steps, shifts. So we have got the legs open wide, but not too wide. Come back to your breath. And then we'll just bring the hands behind the back and take opposite elbows. But you're not trying to achieve any kind of stretch here. It's just to have really soft release of the shoulders and opening through the chest once more. Breathe here. and heel toe the feet in to come to stand feet about hip width apart and then release the arms but feeling like you're keeping space through the upper body ground through the feet find softness in the knees and just drop the chin to the chest really gently rocking the chin from side to side. So we're drawing half circles with the neck. Go slow, keep it small. Bring the head back to center. Either stay here in your sense of calm and stillness or just shake it out to resettle, whichever you feel you need to do. Then when you're ready, find a soft gaze in front of you. Strong through the feet, come back to your standing alignment. Come back to your breath and just picture, visualize, maybe you say it out loud, that word that you set at the start of your practice, how you want to feel right now. Maybe you can take that into your day. When you're ready, bring hands to prayer at the heart. Breathe in through the nose. Sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> awesome. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. Um, it's been a while since I put some stuff out as life has been completely hectic. So if you've enjoyed it, hit like, hit subscribe and feel free to share it with anyone you know that you think might enjoy this. Thanks again and hope to see you again soon.